Okay, everybody, tracking Pat. And again, like I said, if you have, uh, if you're watching this video for the very first time, you may need to refer to the first segment, which gives you a little better explanation on how to figure out which geometry it is you're trying to describe. But what we're going to do here is we're going to show this piece part that's right here on this print and how to go about using the AG programming to figure out the missing dimensions. Okay, and there's quite a few of them. If I look through here, I'm missing a Y dimension in all four of these points where those lines come into intersection with, those, with that big arc, okay? There's also a point down here where the arc is missing both the X and Y dimension. I've got an angled line that comes in tangent to an arc down here and another one that goes off of the arc tangent back to an intersection. So there's quite a bit missing, but you're going to see how powerful the AGE is when I use it. On the screen here, I've got the very first page figured out. There's my zero reference point, and I'm just starting up here at the top of the part right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to swipe forward, and I'm going to start out by doing a milling event. And the first milling event is very simple. I just got to go to the other side of here, which means my zero reference is in the middle, so I'm just going to go to a 0.25. And my Y, I'm going to use ink set, which means it's going to stay right where it is at the top, and you'll see my first line. Okay, it says OK, which means I don't have to tell it anything else. I can just swipe forward. And now it's asking me what I want to do next. And I've got a milling event. But this time, even though my milling event is not tangent, one milling event can't be tangent to another. There has to be an arc involved, right? So even though it's not tangent, it's asking me where is my X end? Well, I'm going to use ink set now because the X is going to stay where it's at. But the Y answer is what's missing on the print. Now, in previous controls, I would tell people that uh, I would have to guess and know exactly where I'm at, and, and it's a little bit different in here. Uh, you don't have to always guess, like tangencies you don't have to guess, and I'll get into the rules a little later. But because the RX is so simple to use, you might want to guess anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the guess button. I'm just going to touch that it's somewhere around there, and then push enter the guess point, and it puts your number in there and starts to draw a dotted line, right? And it's saying, what else can you tell me about that line? And in this case, there's nothing else that I can describe. So even though there's questions left, the whole idea is just tell it what you know and leave out what you don't. So I'm going to swipe forward, and I'm going to do the next arc. And when I do this arc, it says, is it tangent to the line? It is not. So I'm going to hit the set key. The default says it's going to be a clockwise arc. It just so happens that it's correct. So I'm going to hit the set key again. And now my X and Y point are both what's missing. So what I'm going to do is go back to the guess point. Touch somewhere over here about where I think that would be. Enter the guess. It fills in both the X and Y area. And it's still looking for more information. So it says, do you know the center of the arc? Well, I do. It's zero, zero. Okay. There's no Conrad in between. But it shows me that there's a radius here. It shows me actually a diameter of three inches. So I've got an inch and a half radius. Okay. And then I don't know how many, angle, how many degrees are in the arc. So I'm just going to swipe forward. You'll see it's starting to draw, but it's not quite correct yet. So now I've got a milling event. This milling event is not tangent to the previous arc. My X and Y end are going to become a tangency up front. But for now, it's just saying, where is it? So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Use my guess feature again. Touch it over here. Say, enter the guess. It says, what else can you tell me? And there's one other thing that's on this print. And this has to do with the line angles, OK? So the very last question says line angle. And if you remember what I said in the previous part of this video, my line angle starts from the beginning of the line to the end of the line, and which degree is it pointing at? So if I look right here, if I came straight out, it'd be pointing at zero degrees. But it's actually got a five degree typical angle in here, which means it'd be minus five degrees. However, the prototrack prefers for you to use positive degrees. So I'm gonna put in 355 degrees, all right? And it says, okay, what else can you tell me? So I'm at the next piece of geometry, which is an arc. It is tangent, so I'm going to hit the button to turn on the tangency, hit the set key. It is a clockwise arc, so I'm going to hit the set key. And then I'm again going to use my guess feature for the end of the arc. So I'm going to go to guess, touch about down there, push enter. And then it says, what else can you tell me? The center of this arc, it shows me on the print, is 2.625. The Y center is a negative three A's. Okay, there's no Conrad, and the actual radius of this arc is a 0.5. Now notice as I answered that question that the geometry started to become solid. So it's got an inform enough information to go backwards, it just doesn't know the last arc that I've done. 
It's very common that you'll go through a couple different events before you get an okay. You got to get to some solid geometry, which would either be an X and Y ending point or a center and a radius point, okay? So in this case, I'm going to swipe forward again. I've got a milling event. It's also tangent. Hit the set key there. My X and Y end, I don't know, but I'm going to guess again. I can tell on the picture it's somewhere around there. Enter my guess. It says, okay, what else can you tell me? And I've also got a line angle for this line, right? Now, in this case, my line is going the opposite direction. So this is the beginning and that's the end, which means, again, zero's over here. So if I go 180 plus five degrees, that's what it's looking for. So 185 degrees, you see it's starting to try to figure it out, right? I've got an arc again. And at this point, it's not tangent. It is still clockwise. My X is going to end back at 250, so 0.25. And the Y is going to be what I don't know, so I'm going to guess, just kind of touch down here, hit my enter, and then tell it the center of my arc, okay? Once I get to the radius size of my arc, which again is one and a half inches, you're going to see that everything is okay, all right? So every once in a while, you're going to get the solid geometry, and it's going to be all caught up. It'll still let you move on to the next piece. So I've got a milling event. It's not tangent. I'm going to use ink set for the X, and I'm going to stop down here at the bottom of the part, which is minus 2.25. It'll say OK right away, and then I could just keep going. At this point, the rest of what I have left is exactly what I've already done, so I just won't see a need to make it any longer. But as you can see, there's a lot of missing geometry on this print, but there wasn't anything that I needed that wasn't on the print in order to program it. That's the power of AGE. And I'm going to show you a few more examples on other parts that you can also follow along with. And you'll be able to download these prints as well so you can follow along and practice as I do it. And before you know it, you'll be an expert at it just like the rest of us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next segment. Howdy, y'all. It's Tracking Pat from Track Machine Tools here with my lovely wife, Wanda. Both wanting to thank you for watching all of our videos. As always, we really like it when you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just push this button right here. If you'd like to watch the next video in the queue, of course, hit the one over here. Before we take off to go to the honky tonk, we just want to remind you as always to keep, keep on tracking. Yeehaw!